Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have to go check on the get around car because uh, we received an email last night. Well actually we received two emails uh, last night that said that the guest reported that some service lights came on or some malfunctioning lights, uh, I'm not sure, um, and that the car was not accelerating as it should be or it was slowing down for some reason. Um, I'm not sure what all that means. So uh, I'm gathering some tools up right now, uh, the jump box. Um, so actually the car is in Denton which is about 45 minutes away. So we were told to, on one email, we were told to go pick up the vehicle and the second email said that the guest would take it or keep it and that the listing was just going to be deactivated once it returned it. So I'm not sure which of the two they want us to do. So I'm just going to go, uh, I have the location of the vehicle. Um, they gave it to us on one of the emails. So I'm going to go check out the vehicle, see how it's uh, performing or what service lights it has on. and. Um, uh, just take it from there because uh, I'm not sure if I if I take an uber right now Am I gonna be able to drive the car back or am I just gonna take an uber there? Realize that I can't uh, the car doesn't uh, accelerate like they said and then I'm gonna have to take an uber back to then take tools I'm not sure so I'm just gonna go check it out um, So yeah, let's go ahead Got one of my jump boxes here and uh, some random tools my scanner uh, just a couple of uh, screwdrivers and bits um, and then I have a lot more tools back here yeah so should be good enough to check it out the car and see what's wrong with it there it is I did bring the spare just in case you never know if they took the key or or what so uh, from the outside, looks okay. Just looks uh, a little dirty, but so let's see if it's unlocked. Yeah, I think it is. All right. Here's the inside. Um, yeah, he's in here. Okay, so she mentioned that there were some uh, warning lights on or um, uh, something on the dash and that it was just slowing down while driving. So we'll go ahead and test drive it and see. It starts right up. And there's no warning lights on. And in fact, I think she recently drove it because, I mean, it's almost at operating temperature. It's a little cooler, but, so, I mean, the only light on is the seatbelt, and, yeah, that one goes off when you put on the seatbelt. So, as far as warning lights, there's nothing. Um, I brought my scanner, so we'll go ahead and check that right now, but, I mean, yeah, there's nothing here. We'll just drive it around the block to see if, see if it drives fine. It's driving like normal, so I mean, not, no lights on. Um, you know, keeping up with traffic, no problem accelerating. So I don't know why they sent that email that says something's wrong with the vehicle when clearly there's nothing wrong with the vehicle. So yeah, I'm just gonna go park it back and call, get around, and see what they say because. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, luckily she has a full tank of gas. But, I mean, they made me come out here and drive, you know, 45 minutes for for something that, for nothing that's wrong with the vehicle. Okay, so I'm just going to turn around and go back uh, to the apartments and park it there. So, yeah, I'm, so I'm just going to put the key back. All right, and then uh, see if I can lock it on the app. the Jeep that they temporarily deactivated and I'll lock it are you sure you want to lock your car the car is currently in an active rental you should lock the car if, the, if requested by the renters I'll cancel so that means that the trip is still active so I'm gonna go ahead and call get around right now and uh, see what they say because they told me to come out here and pick up the vehicle but now it looks like the the, the rental is still going so call them and I'll let you hear the conversation. 
Thanks for contacting Get Around Customer Happiness. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Hi, thank you for calling Get Around. This is Econ. How can I help you today? Yeah, the trip is in progress apparently, and we aren't able to end it. Um, but yeah, I, I drove it um, mm -hmm. for a couple miles, and it's driving fine. And there's no lights on the dash. Um, so, I mean, I would prefer for her to keep the trip just because she has it until the 19th. Um, but if not, right. but if okay. not, I, I can, uh, I can come back later, uh, with an Uber and pick it up. Okay. We'll go ahead and, and, uh, circle back with the guests, sir, uh, to let them know, uh, how would they wish to be, uh, to, to proceed with their trip. And then if they won't, then, um, you would proceed in, you know, have you recovered a car, um, whatever, uh, you know, transportation that you have taken to recover the vehicle, um, we can go ahead and further request that for reimbursement with our trust and safety team. Sometimes these uh, get around guests, they'll rent out the vehicle and they will kind of just drive it somewhere. Uh, we've had it to where they drive it to Atlanta or to Florida and then just abandon the vehicle there. Uh, kind of make it a, a one-way trip, which they're not supposed to do. And so, I mean, I, I don't think that's, that was the case on this one because uh, I don't think they would, the guests would do that, especially being such a short distance, you know, it's only 45 minutes away. Um, so, I mean, it is possible, but uh, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that that's not what they were trying to do. But regardless of that conversation, uh, Get Around did say that they will re reimburse us for our time, uh, whether it, it, uh, I have to come back with an Uber to pick up the vehicle or uh, the guest keeps the vehicle, which I prefer. I prefer that the guest keeps the vehicle just because they uh, rented it for two weeks and uh, we make more money uh, with them keeping it than we do with, uh, you know, just being reimbursed for our time if I have to come back and pick it up. So I spoke a little bit too soon. Uh, we just received a message from Get Around that uh, the, the guest did abandon the vehicle there. So uh, they gave us two options, either they can tow it to us or for $100 I can go and pick it up and they'll reimburse us any gas and the Uber. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it's only like 45 minutes away, an Uber ride and then 45 minutes back and then I can refuel it with the gas that it, that it uses. I'm at the home location right now uh, where I'll drop off the vehicle. Uh, but yeah, it happens sometimes, people abandon vehicles, um, it's not the end of the world. All right, so we're back here at the home location. I put some gas on the vehicle, just what it took to get here. And uh, the Uber was like 50 bucks. So we're gonna be reimbursed for that. Oh, and it looks like even though she canceled her trip, we're still gonna be paid out the full amount because they abandoned the vehicle. But yeah, that's pretty much, uh, you know, all in the, today's work, uh, day in the life of a, a car sharing host. So uh, if you enjoy videos like this, let me know. And uh, any questions, uh, be sure to drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.